Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we have another mansion surprise surprise this is a split level Tudor mansion I have built quite a lot of these before but I promise that every time they are different both on the outside and on the inside and you know the different things that they bring you know so this here is a older looking mansion an older looking to the mansion I mean the other ones were more modernized this one is very traditional you know not a lot of work has gone into this house but it's very nicely preserved and I really like this house uh, for me the special room of this entire house you know I always pick my favorite room is the split level bathroom that we have on the downstairs uh, it looks really good now usually my split levels tend to have a higher foundation so you know the highest your foundation is the more steps you will have to go up to get to you know the top of the level but this time I only used one step so it's just one little bit higher than the rest of the floor um, it gives it a little something different but it's not overly drastic which is what I wanted plus then you don't have the need to put in any stairs because sims will go up those with no problem but you know if you have a higher foundation of two steps or more then the sims won't be able to go up unless you have stairs there another very beautiful room in this house is the entry hall you have a double staircase that goes up and you have a little mezzanine level up there uh, where you go up to the bedrooms and stuff like that and you know you can look over you know I always like to include mezzanines in my homes uh, another thing I really like is this floor that I use a lot and double stoves another thing you know kind of trademarks of this channel but anyway let's get to it so this is a eight bedroom house um most of the bedrooms are doubles you do have i believe two single bedrooms here we are creating a guest bedroom or not you know you can live or use this as your bedroom but usually i like to think that the bedrooms downstairs are guest bedrooms and because it is downstairs we were able to create a split level here is the best room in the house for me this is going to be the bathroom now up here we have the little wash up area so you know you just have a chest of drawers where you would have your cosmetic stuff you have you know your bath towels and your perfumes and stuff then the sink and then down here we have a a um, foot club bathtub is it foot club it's something like that uh dog no i don't know the name of it dog feet i don't know i can't, can't remember the name of that particular style of bathtub but we do have it and it is not against the wall so it's like in the middle of the room which makes it into kind of like the centerpiece so it's kind of where your eyes will focus is on that bathtub which is kind of amazing to be honest um and yeah so we do have quite a lot of rooms at this house as you can imagine so on the downstairs we only have that one bedroom which is this one uh, then we have two sitting rooms one of them is a more informal one it has you know these white sofas that look no it's still classical and traditional but it looks more relaxed you do have a very old tv that's just sitting on a table you know watching tv is not a priority in this house then you have the more formal living room you know you have a beautiful fireplace some bookcases a lot of like traditional sofas a lot of like family pictures on the wall uh, then you have the kitchen dining both very large rooms especially the kitchen very large and spacious you have a adjacent uh, laundry room and then we also have a party room that is also split level so on the top we have a bar this is the room i'm talking about so on the top 
we have a bar, just a table, a few chairs, and then underneath we have some sofas and a grand piano. So this would be like a party room, you know, where you would go and listen to some music, have a few drinks. Uh, then in the garden, we have the gazebo. I basically just plopped a few chairs in there. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to put in there, but I thought it would be quite appropriate for this house to have a gazebo in the back. We also have a little garage, which is a two-car garage. And as I always state, because I get questions about it, is, you know, cars aren't usable in The Sims 4. Just for realism purposes, I always like to add it. If you do not want that, and if you need some extra space, you can maybe put a gym in there or, you know, something to do with, you know, with your Sims, some Sims uh, um, skill building items in there. Um, you know, you could do a lot of stuff. It's quite a big room. You can even, you know, make a room in there for a bratty teenager. <laughs> you know, anything you want, you can do it. This house does not have a pool. There's enough room for you to put it, but I did not think it was very appropriate for the type of house. So instead, I put in the new uh, uh, hot top. I was going to say BAFTA, but the new hot top that came with the new update. So it's kind of like in the corner. Then we also have a little, I'm not sure how to call it, gardening area where basically I just colored the floor to make it look like there's roses growing from the floor. And then we have those garden boxes where you can actually plant your own things. So, you know, a garden patch. A, eh? yeah, is that the name of it? I'm not sure. I'm a bit confused today, seems like it. But, you know, if your sims are into gardening, then you do have space to do that as well. Then up there, we have eight bedrooms, like I said, but seven upstairs. The master bedroom is pretty nice. It is very divided. One thing that I love, and that's why I always keep building older homes, is I like to do intricate floor plans. Uh, you know, modern houses, everything is very open plan and everything is very next to each other. I like complicated um, floor plans. And here are the screenshots. Uh, but yeah, so up there in the master suite, you walk in, you have two closets, one on each side. Uh, then you walk into the actual bedroom and then the bathroom is actually divided in three sections. So you've got a very little two by one room where you just have your toilet. Then it comes out to another room where you have your sinks, uh, your cosmetic stuff, and then you walk into the bathroom. And the bathroom is literally a bath room where you just have a bath and a shower. Um, you know, quirky stuff like this always happens in old homes. Um, I remember one of my friends when she lived in England, she lived in like an older house and sometimes here in England, older homes have sinks in the bedroom, like a bathroom sink inside of a bedroom, which is something quite strange, but you know, it gives the house a little bit of something, you know, and I wanted to, you know, to split up the bathroom a little bit so it's not too open. We like things to be closed and cozy and as you saw just a picture ago i used that beautiful wallpaper again you know how much i love that by the way if you're wondering because i do get quite a lot of questions about it that floor and those wood panels on the wall they are base game and they are stunning they look beautiful together and they make a house look very very warm and cozy and you know if you like older houses like this one and this is something you can use. Now, this house is, of course, available on my gallery. And you can, of course, download it. So if you are interested in doing that or just checking out any other builds that I have, because, you know, maybe this is not your cup of tea. I do build all genres of houses. We go from the most traditional to the most modern. So it will all that all of that will be on my gallery. And you can look for me using hashtag SimsDesigns or hashtag SimsDesignsYT. 
you subscribe stay tuned for tomorrow's video tomorrow i will up i will be uploading um bell's house so i built the house from bell from you know bell from beauty and the beasts how many other bells do you know but i built her house it's a very tiny cute one bedroom cottage uh and you know i had a lot of fun building it so stay tuned for that and you know right now i'm gonna relax for a bit and start to work on a house that i can upload on friday so if you do have any ideas or things that you would like me to build any you know recreations of any houses from movies tv shows real life you know if you live next to a very beautiful house you know you can send me pictures I am very active on my social medias, which are all linked on my channel. Um, and yeah, that's it. Here are the screenshots. You can finish watching them. Please do like this video. So give this a big thumbs up. Subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.